Hey there everybody, it's Red Knight here and welcome back to Food Street. Now you all know that I love looking at really cool restaurants. I love to be able to give my views and opinions on some of the designs. Well today's video is all about designing and I'm going to change my restaurant layout from what it looks like at the moment into something that's more in line with the next event that's coming up. So let's go into the photo mode so you can see what I've got at the moment. Now this is my current design based on the barbecue event that we had recently. So we were in Texas, we were outside and we had a nice grouping of tables on the outside here. We got a nice little restaurant entrance here and again this wonderful garden style feel. Now for today's video I'm going to completely change this and I'm going to rearrange it and make my restaurant look very very different. Now I am limited by space as you know so I haven't yet opened up all of my land. Now I could do that if I had sufficient coins but I'm afraid I keep spending my coins on the decoration because I do love to decorate as you know. Now to decorate you need to come down to the little paintbrush on the bottom left hand corner. Once you click on this then it will open up your shop and then from your shop you've got the option to actually start purchasing items. So if you need new machines you can get them here from the top tab. Now again one of the machines I still need to buy is the dessert station and I can't get that at the moment because again insufficient coins. Within this section you've got your garden plots, you've got your animals, you've got your trees etc and again you can start buying more here but the more you buy the more you need to then lay out in any new design that you've got so please take that into consideration everybody some things you have to put back into the game and I will show you that in a moment if I click on the actual chair this takes you to your decoration now all of this decoration is additional items now you've got here some tables so as an example for the event we've got coming up at the moment which will start in about six hours give or take so I will do a live stream tomorrow for this one by the way I've got 17 days left and I can get myself some tiki tables and they are gorgeous and I've actually bought six if I scroll down through the other decoration, I've got doors here if I wanted to, I've got walls as well, and we've got the tiki walls as well, and I've got 26 of those in my inventory. Hmm, 26, I wonder what I could do with that. Now, I've also got my windows here as well, I've got my external decoration, and I've got my internal decoration. Now, for the internal decoration, there's not really anything that's changed here, but I will still be using some of this. My external decoration, now this is where I'm getting a lot of new items, and with the event that's just started, trust me, there are lots of goodies here that you want to be buying, and you will be using a lot of these, I think, with any of your designs that you are going to do. So as an example, you've got the surfboard racks. I've got two of those. The sun lounge table, I've got three. Sun lounge chair, I've purchased five. Fabric divider, I've got two of those. The tiki totem, I've got four. Bamboo lanterns, two. Beach hut, I've got two. Red beach hut, I've got one. And the green beach hut, I've got two. Summer plant, I've got four. Uh, short palm plant, I've got four. Smart palm plant, I've got four. And the tall palm tree, I've got four as well. Now when you're purchasing these decorations, some of them will cost you coins, some of them will cost you vouchers, and some of them will cost you gems. Now trust me, your vouchers and your coins and gems do go very, very quickly, so choose wisely. Otherwise you may find that you can't purchase all of the decorations that you want. For example, I can no longer afford to get any fruit baskets or the star shell turtle because I ran out of bronze vouchers, which is a shame because I did have quite a few earlier and I spent them all, but I did get myself the inflatable pool and that's going to float on the ocean of my new design. Now the last one which is really important is your flooring. Now at the moment you've got like the wooden decking and the sand, that's the new one and I'm going to make a really good use of that because that is going to help me with my beach design because we are going to Hawaii everybody. Now I will be using some of the blue carpet, I will also be using some of the glass as well. Now I do wish that there were more blues because then I could vary and adapt the colour of the blue. So I'm hoping at some stage that we get different shades of colours of the actual flooring. So imagine if I had five or six different shades of the blue. Not only could I create a really beautiful blue floor, but I could actually give you like a dark and 
and a light feeling within the blue. Now, as you can see here, the blue looks fantastic, but the way I'm going to use it is very, very different. Now, the edit mode is down in the bottom right hand corner, and it's the exploded building with the plus mark. And if I click on that, a new menu comes up. Now you'll see here I've got three layouts and I've actually purchased the third layout so I can actually now start setting it up. My center one is at the moment which is my active, the first one is another design I'm working on and the third one is the one that is the one I'm going to be looking at at the moment. Now you'll see here I'm going to click on the actual uh, blue at the moment and the sand and then I'm going to also start add some of this to my actual restaurant just to give you an idea of what my restaurant is looking like from the distance. So if we zoom out here you'll see my workspace is all green. Now some of these items are part of my design so as an example the rock, the trees, I can't chop those down from within the edit mode. They've they're already existing there. The areas I can't open up are over here as well and again okay I can't do anything about these so they're just as they are but when I come out of the edit mode I could purchase them if I wanted to. Right now we need to put the blue down here. So blue flooring is very easy to lay out. You can just tap on it and then it will just go where you would like it to go. Or what you could actually do is just tap on the one corner and then just keep your finger there and slide it out and it should allow you to stretch it in different directions. So you can actually adjust the flooring depending on the size that you wanted to go for. So as an example, if I wanted to go, let's just say to about here, uh, that would be a wonderful idea, or maybe even come back a little bit further just there. I think maybe that's a good distance to go to. And I've gone for the three blocks just there for the moment. And I think that does look kind of cool. So I just press the tick mark and then that lays it down like so. Now again I want to be very very creative with my design so maybe what I'm going to do is to let's say okay I'm just going to come down okay let's just say to this point just here and then I'll come out a little bit further and then again I'll come down like so. Now I don't have to go the full distance but it allows me to start placing out what I call like the blue water effect. Now let's just say I change over to a glass effect now. So let's go and find myself some of that glass. Now here we put down the glass as well and then again I can go to straight line. If I come off the side it tells me it's red and I can't use it. If I go it this way, okay it actually lets me do the pattern I want. So let's come all the way down here and let's come back a little bit further as well. Let's see how does that look. Is that far enough I wonder? Mm, no, let's come a little bit further. Now if I try to drag a little bit more more you'll see there that it doesn't let me so I've got to actually continue where I hold it from and then it will let me keep drawing it and this will allow me to modify any design I've got now again ticket and beautiful I've got a nice little water design there and then I can keep coming out a little bit further and again it creates a wonderful pattern Okay, let's choose some decking. So we need some decking here. So let's go down to that beautiful little deck that I saw earlier. Now I've already purchased this, so it's there ready within my actual stall. Now if I haven't purchased it, it's not going to let me do this. So I would then need to change my design to bring that into effect. So you've got to be really, really careful about how you do this. Right now, I wonder how many should I go for here? Okay, well let's have a think. So I've got a tree there that I can't really go around, so I'm going to do that one for the moment. Come down a couple there, I think. Let's just put that into place, bring that down to there. And I wonder, should we go like six down? Is that enough or maybe five down? Okay, that looks good for the moment. So I think five is kind of nice there as well. Right, now we want to come off this way a little bit more as well, so let's try it like this and see how that looks as well. That actually looks pretty good and I do like that as a nice little design concept. Now what I need to then do is to start thinking, okay, how can I actually make this more special? So I'm going to come down here, let's just say this distance here, and then see how that goes. And then maybe come back this way a little bit, and that looks good as well. So for the moment it looks like I've created a nice little piece of like a wooden floor, glass floor and blue carpeted floor. Now that doesn't look so special but what I'm going to do is to start changing the design now and creating something a little bit more interesting and I think you will like it a lot. So let's see how this goes shall we? 
right now. Mm, choices, choices, choices. I wonder. Let's put some blue down. Bring that straight down to there. There we go. How does that look? Come down here as well. That looks good as well. Come down there a little bit as well. And I think we go to the four there. Again, that looks wonderful. And I do like this. If I continue further down this way as well, again, you've got a really interesting design. Now, automatically, this looks kind of like strange. And okay, what, what, what am I trying to achieve here? Well, let me show you. Now, I'm going to add some of the fencing in. So by adding a little bit of fencing in, it gives you a different feel to your design. So you're creating like a kind of a 3D look here now. So scrolling down. Now I actually like the fact that I've got all of my decoration here that I've purchased, but I do wish that this were set up the same way as the shop. Then it would be so much easier trying to find the ones that I purchased or the ones that I want to add in from specific sections. Currently at the moment, the way this is set up, I've got to scroll through everything to find the one item. And then when I do lay it out, it's very, very frustrating because sometimes I have to go back and reposition it. So I've got this now down the way I want and I'm looking at this garden fence here. Now you could place the garden fence on the actual wood if you wanted to, but if you do this and watch this everybody, so I'm going to say yes then, keep coming down with this one like this. Right, now I'm going to change the direction. We're going to come down this way a little bit as well change the direction again and then I'm going to move that one over to there and then try it in this direction as well right now kill that one off now let's go back to the path pieces here and I'm going to choose some of the actual glass again so let's bring the glass down here just so you can see this in more detail now as I move this away from my face okay you can see now that there's a kind of a 3d style image that's starting to appear here and I do like the way that this actually looks and it's rather interesting now, let's see how many fences did I choose? One, two, three, four, five, six fences there. Now, is that going to be enough, I wonder? Yeah, I think that's good enough. I like that one. So I've gone six down. How many deep? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, seven. Okay, I think maybe that's a little bit too deep, and I'm going to change that design slightly. Now, I'm not happy what I've done here, so I'm going to go back to the box. I'm going to click on the piece just there, put that back into storage. Now, be very careful when you put items back into storage, because maybe you might be selling it by mistake. Okay, let's move that one to there. That one's okay. That one to there. That one's okay. Right, so how many now? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now that's a little bit better. I think that actually goes together much more nicely. But now I need to rectify the flooring. Now it's okay. You've got a choice when it comes to the flooring. You can put down the X and then scroll that forward and down like so. And then it will remove anything that you've already done. Or what you can do is just go down and find the floor that you want, place that into the right position, and then it just covers it very easily, just like that as well. Now I've got this blue one here that's kind of like in the way, so what I need to do is to change that for the X just to get rid of it for the moment, and that one is now done. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's check the actual side as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, eight. Hmm, let me have a think about that one. Is that going to be okay, I wonder? Hmm, yep, yeah, okay, I think eight is a good size there. I like that one. Right, now I've got a wonderful little deck option here. I like the design. I like the way that this has come out. Now, I want to make it a little bit more comfortable for myself to create that kind of like eating area. So I come back here. Now, last time I chose this specific kind of fence. Now I'm going to change the fence and I'm also going to put some other decoration down as well. So as I scroll down, you'll see some of the items I'm aiming for. Now, the first one I'm looking for is the fencing and I'm looking for a taller fence here, everybody. So scrolling back down again until I can find it and we are almost there. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Like I said, this is the frustrating part. I do wish that I could actually have it as a separate section. 
uh, I, I like the way this is done, but it is <clears throat> a little bit like aggravating for me. Right, now I'm going to place this fence down here. And then again, as I tap it, it goes off into the direction I don't want. So I keep tapping it. Once I place it in the direction I want, it will then keep going on that line. So I keep adding that fencing until I get to where I want. And I wonder, no, let's go this way. So let's think, should I go one or should I go two? Okay, I think one more jump there is good. And if I come back down to this corner here and I do this one as well on that one, kill that off. Now that's created a nice little area where I, maybe I can relax and eat something. So let's try. Let's add some tables in. If I add the tables, now maybe that will look good as well. So we add the tables, everybody. Finding those tables, where are they? Scrolling back down again until I can get to them. Now I'm looking for the event tables because it is a wonderful event. I should add those in. Now are they in this decoration section? I wonder. Let's find out. So we keep going down with the tables now, going past all of those that I've already got from previous events, and there they are, everyone. The ticky tables. Now, I could place a ticky table like that. Let's just turn it on its side and then another one just there as well. Let's say yes to that one. Give myself a little bit of a gap, I think. Yes, another gap there. Uh, and then another one there. Now, I do like the fact that I've created a space for four tables. Now, please remember that if you have the option for more tables, it means that you have the ability to get more orders. Now, if you don't place down all of your tables in your collection, it means that you will not be able to do all of the orders that you could possibly do. Now, for this event, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not concerned the way that is going to affect my ability to do orders. At the moment I'm more interested in just decorating and setting up and getting this looking rather interesting. So let's find some more decoration here and add that as well. Now I'm looking for those beautiful little tiki statues that I purchased. I think two of those just here at the entrance will create a really wonderful design. So let's add that one there and that one there. Move that one out of the way. Now what do you think everybody? Does that not look cool? And if we zoom out slightly, push it away, you can see the 3D effect is coming along very, very nicely. Now it's not quite perfect yet. There's still a lot more that needs to be done, but it's starting to get there. So let's kill that one off for the moment and let's start thinking about what else I can do to make this better. Well, we need to add some more water and to do this I'm going to use a really cool decoration. Now I love this decoration because once you start adding it together it opens up and it creates a wonderful water-like effect and I've seen this used so well on many many restaurants and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's called the grey magic water feature and I think it's one of the best additions we've had in the game. Now if I place that one down there, it looks like a normal little block with water inside. But what's the magic, everybody? Now if I add another one, ooh, look at that. Oh wow. It's creating a rather wonderful design where they are starting to add together. And now we've got a water feature. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Right, now, what I want to do is to go around my actual image here, just to create a better, more interesting design. So let's see how we go. We're going to go around here, go around this area here as well, keep it going. And I think I'm going to come down here as well, bring that down again. No, I don't want to go on the inside, I want to go off and follow the water around. Now that's creating a really cool design there, but I want to make it a little bit more special. So let's add another one just there. I think I'm going to add hmm, yeah, a couple more just here as well. That creates a little bit of a stranger design there. Now I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, should I do a little bit more here? So what have I got? Mm -mm -mm. Should I stick to one or should I go with two? Ah, it's such a hard decision. Okay, I'm going to change this. Now, I did put the glass all the way down there, but I'm going to make this a little bit deeper. 
So by changing my design slightly, I make it seem a little bit more interesting. There we go. What do you think? Now I think that looks much, much better. So a slight change there to the design has made it a little bit more interesting. Well, I'm going to go to the next stage now. So I need to add some of the actual glass back in to create a different effect for the water. So let's go and find the glass, put that back in there and see what that does to the design. So come down there, say yes on that one, bring that down there as well. Now, I don't want to go too far for the moment. Let's have a little think about this as well. So should I go one or should I go two? Now, I'm only going to go one there now, I think. So I want to change what I've done here. Now, this side, I'm going to come down here with the water. In fact, I'm going to come to an extra one down there. I think I'm going to come three down on this one to create a three. Mm, no, let's keep it simple. Modifying my design as I go along, being creative, seeing how that affects the design. Hmm, mm, 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 I do like that one. I think that looks a little bit better. Now, sand, sand, sand. So let's try the sand here. Now let's bring some sand into this, see how that changes the overall feel of this design. Now, I could put the sand here. I think coming off that corner there might be good as well. Ah, the choices, the choices, the choices. What should I do, I wonder? Hmm. I'm still thinking, what should I do here? It's very, very hard to think about this one. Okay, now I'm going to change my design here. I'm not happy with this for the moment. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to pick that one up there, move that to there, move that to there as well. Okay, that changes the appearance of the board, which then means I need some more water pieces back there as well. So let's scroll down and find those pieces again. Now, I do like what I had there originally, okay, but I want to be a little bit more ingenious with my design. So creating like a staggered effect, I think, is much more exciting. And that looks a little bit better, you know. I kind of like the feel of that a lot more. Now, that means then that that one piece that's just there can be taken away. Now, let me have a look. Mm, yeah, I like that one. Let's put that one back into storage. That means then I want to change my path design, move the water around slightly. So let's bring that one there. Okay, let's go for the sand. Let's try some sand here. Let's see how the sand changes this. Mm, one piece, two piece. Ooh, that I think is going to look good. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to go for two there. Come down a little bit more there. Let's have a look. Interesting, interesting. Now, I do like what I've done there. So, I'm going to put another one there to change the design. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, now that looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Now, sand, sand, sand. Let's try some more sand pieces here. See how that blends in. So let's go deep on that one. Now, that's a lot of sand there. Zooming out, it, oh, that actually looks not too bad now. I kind of like the way that's come together. So let's try something here. Put sand in there. Put some sand in there as well. Make that sandy. Right, bring that all the way down there. Let's, in fact, let's do all the sand here for the moment. Let's see how that changes the design. Now that is a lot of sand. So what do you think? Okay, I've got a partial beach design there. I've got a little bit of water, uh, but it still looks a little bit like too much. So I really want to change this, I think. Now, the best way to do this, I think, is to add some more blue into this. So let's bring the carpet down on this one. So we need to modify this carpet design slightly. Now, I wonder, I think three down there would be good. Come up one just there. Bring that one down there a little bit as well. 
Now that means the water looks too big there, so I want to change the design. But at the moment, let's just leave that the way that is. In fact, no, I'm going to switch it over. Let's do some of the sand again. So let's just do it. Sand, 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 sand. Now, choices, choices, choices. Mm. I think one more there, so maybe I want to stagger this slightly. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? No. Hmm. That looks good. If I stagger the water like this, it creates a more interesting design feel. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. So we've modified that corner slightly. Right now, to get a better understanding of how it's going to go, let's add in some of the decoration. Now, I want to put my sign in there somewhere. So let's put my sign here just there so we all know that it belongs to me. So Red Knight's Place now has its own little logo. Now, I want to start coming up with a more beach-like effect. So I need some beach decoration. So let's scroll down and see what I've got. So scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Go past those for the moment. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's find the new decoration. What do we have? Maybe there'll be something interesting I can use there. Ooh, cactus. Cactus, beach. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. So put one there for the moment. Say yes to that one. And let's put one there as well. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. Good choice. A really, really good choice, if I do say so. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Right, coming down again. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, more decoration, more decoration. Now, we want some of the new decoration here. So I'm going to be using a surfboard, I think. That would be nice. Place that one down there for the moment. Say no to that one. Scrolling back down, what else have we got here? Let's have a look at some of this new decoration. Let's bring some out. Ah, scrolling, 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 scrolling. I need an easier way. Please make this much, much easier for me. I love being able to find the decoration, but oh my goodness me, does this take forever, I think. Right, I am going to put down one each of these beach huts. So let's put that one there for the moment. No, I don't want the same color. I want a different color. Let's make it more interesting. So changing, 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 changing. At least if I do place a decoration, I wish it would take me back to the previous position. Uh, like I said, scrolling up and down on this one can be a little bit annoying. And in some ways, too annoying. Ugh. Going, 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 going. Well, at least I've only got one more of those huts to do, because there were three in the new update for this event. So at least I can have three of them on there, and they do look kind of cool. So, I've got a blue, a pink, I need a purple. That leaves me with three more left in storage. And I don't want any more. And I wonder... Ooh, that looks nice. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. But, 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 but. Mm, let's move that up a little bit more. So that way it's behind the sign at least. Hang on, I better move this one up next to it as well then. Yeah, that looks good. I like that a lot. Okay, that's creating now a nice little corner down there, I think. So I'm rather pleased the way that's starting to come along. But it still looks a little bit bare. And when something is bare, we need to start adding more to it. So what shall we add here, I wonder? Hmm, choices, choices, choices. I know, let's get some trees in there. Now with this Aloha event, we got some wonderful new palm trees and I bought quite a few of those. Now the reason I bought them is because I wanted to use them in my design. So let's scroll down again and see what designs we've got there. Now there were quite a few here as you already know and I did purchase a few of them. So we've got the summer plant, there's four. We've got the short palm plant as well, and the smart one, and then the tall one. So let's grab some of these out. So I'm going to put them over here for the moment, out the way. Let's just place them all down, and then if I don't use them, at least then I can put them back into storage later. So this will make it much, much faster for me doing it this way. 
Right, finding, 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 finding again, going back down. Do, 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 and here we go. Let's get the short ones out as well. Place those down and see what we can do with that one. And then we go back again to the next one. Oh my goodness me, this is taking forever. Where are you, my little trees? Come to me. You want to come out very, very quickly, don't you? So please, Food Street, for my sake, to make it easier for my fingers, you don't realize how much time and energy it takes my poor fingers to slide up and down this screen. So please do change it to make it much, much easier. Because this is actually kind of hard work. And I worry that uh, I'm going to get finger burned by sliding my finger up and down this screen so often. Okay, right, I think that looked good. In fact, while I'm here, let's just bring out all of the decoration. So, any decoration I've bought, let's just add it now. It's going to make it much, much easier, I think. That way I'll be able to progress a little bit faster with this design. Ooh, I think I would like a bench. Let's add a bench down there as well. I know where I'm going to use that one. Mm -mm -mm. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else can I use as I scroll past here that I might want a few of? Uh, I like those, but choices, choices. Ooh, garland that looks good. That's a good possibility. Hmm. Design choices, design choices. I like those pendant lamps as well. Let's bring down two of those. Let's see what else. Scroll back down again. Moving, 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 moving. No, 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 no. I think that's enough of those. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And we are almost back to that wonderful decoration again. Right, now, sun lounge table. Yep, yeah, let's get some of those down as well. Go back again. Now, I wonder how long this video is going to be. I think most of it's going to be me sliding up and down. Uh, that's probably why I'm buying all of the decoration now, just to make it a little bit easier. So let's bring out the last two of these as well. One, two, and there you are. And let's see what else we've got. Going back, going back, going back, going back, going back. And are we almost there? Close, 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 close. Anything else? Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. I bought five of these chairs. Now, these chairs are so cool. Look at them. All we need now is to actually have some towels to lay down on those. Now, that would be wonderful. Imagine if we had different kinds of towels that could be laid over those. And you could pretend that that's actually your chair to sit on as well. Now, that would be a cool addition to the game. Right, let's take two of those lamps as well. And anything else I want to get? Hmm. Were there any new decoration there, I wonder? Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Hmm, curtains. Yeah, I bought two of those, so let's put those down as well. Let's put that one there, and then that one there as well. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Ice cream could be good, but then again, I think with the heat of this summer event, it's going to make a mess if I did lay it down. Now, I've got another circle, right? I've got another beach hut and, uh, in fact, another two beach huts, but I'm going to leave those there for the moment because maybe I won't use them. Anything else in there? I don't want any pets at the moment. Uh, I will take the pool, though. So, I think the pool's going to be good. Place that one down. Okay, right, let's go and have a look. So, I bought myself some trees. Let's put some of those trees there. Now, what'll be good? Let's do the small one here. So, bring small one over. And I wonder, put one of those there. See how it looks. Mm, that looks nice. Oh, that looks better. I like the way the leaf actually wraps around there. That looks so cool. 
Let's try another one, see if they both look good on both sides. I wonder, will it actually wrap around as well? Let's try it. It does. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, next one. We need some more little decoration, I think. So, let's try one of those there. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that as well. Right, now, let's have a look at my design. Mm -hmm. Now I chose a bench earlier, so I think I can move that bench over to here. Let's put that bench just there, I think. How's that look? Yeah, I like it. Or maybe... I should go down one more. Hmm. Difficult decision. What should I do, I wonder? Choices, choices, choices. Let's do it. Let's place that one there. See what happens. So a single bench just then. That looks kind of cool. And it looks a little bit dark as well. So did I find some lamps there? Yes, I did. Right, move those lamps over. Come on, my fingers are too big for this place that one there as well. Ooh, I like that now. That looks more interesting. But does it? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Should I change this? Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Now, I do like what I've done here, but... I'm thinking I might have to modify it slightly a little bit later. So let's just see how that's going to look in a short while. So let's keep it there for the moment. I'm just going to see what it looks like a little bit later. Right now, I want some of these big trees. So bring those big trees down. And I'm going to go for a tree here, I think. Mm, put that one there. Yeah, I'm going to leave the tree there. I like that. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, right now, in here, we have the actual machines that you need to lay out. Now, a beach without a smoothie bar is just not good enough. So we need to put the smoothie bar, I think. Now, I'm going to add the smoothie bar just behind here. That means the smoothie bar looks good there. But again, it needs some coverage. So we need to find something. And I'm wondering, OK, let's try a lemon tree. Good. No, not two lemon trees. That's too much. Single lemon tree there look good. Let's try some other trees. I want something that's a little bit smaller that's not going to be so big. So sure, I wonder. I could put one just there. And I think another one can go there. And that looks much better. I like that. So cancel it off for the moment. Let's bring some of those smaller trees over. So let's try that one there, see how that looks. Ooh, now that's starting to look more interesting. So my restaurant is now starting to look more like a restaurant. And I kind of like the way that this is coming across. Right, now I did like the fact that I put a machine there. So why not add some more machines to my front as well? So I need my little service table. I'm going to need my trophy cabinet, I think. Let's put that one down there as well. In fact, while I'm here, let's kill off that back. Put some trees there as well. So trees are really important. I want to make sure I've got all of those laid out so I know how much space I've got to work with. So I think some apple trees at the back there. And I'm going to go for four apple trees. Then come back on myself again there with another four. That looks much better. Now I need some machines. Mm, choices, choices, choices. Should I go for that one? I think I might go for the barista coffee because everybody likes a nice cup of coffee when they arrive anywhere. No, 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 no. Good. Shift that over there out the way for the moment. Put that one down there and we need another machine but I'm going to shift that over one because coffee up against the road is not good hmm choices 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 now what should I do
do with this one, I wonder. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add something really cool and wonderful here. Now, we need another machine. Now, which one should I go for? I know. Let's scroll down, see if I can find it. No, no, no. So, mm, should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, why not? I love this machine. It's really cool. No, 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 no. Perfect. Move that over one there as well. And that looks good. Good. I like it. I like it a lot. But we need to protect them. We need to stop passengers, uh, visitors, uh, bus service people. We need to stop everybody from getting burnt here when they come in. So we need to actually close it off. So I need some fencing and I'm going to go for the tall fencing because I've already done some. So let's see how this looks. Now once I've added this fencing down, it's going to maybe change my design feel. So before I actually go too far on the beach, I'm focusing more on my restaurant area just to see if it's going to affect the design. Now it's very important that you don't go too far into your design before you see how it balances with everything else. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm tweaking, changing different areas and seeing how that looks as I progress it. Now if I do this, now it looks like my entrance is going to be too small. So I think I'm going to have to change my design slightly just to make it more interesting. So, right, now you'll see here it feels very, very tight. So what this means to me is that I'm going to have to start moving things and I'm going to have no choice here. So I think everything needs to come down at least one. If I come down at least one, then I think I have the option here to actually make it a little bit better. So let's bring these all down one. Okay, that means that's going to come down deeper as well. Yes or no? Actually, no, let's do that one there. Oh, cancel that one and place that one down there for the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to have to move my design. Place you there for the moment and move the fencing to... Okay, you're going to have to come to there because I want to come down one. Yes, I know everything's in the wrong place. So place you there for the moment. Place that there. Place that one there. There there and that one there. That means my blue and my brown does not look good. So we need to change the wooden decking. So just cover that over completely, for, uh, not for the moment. Okay. Now we then need to change the blue as well. So bring the carpet back there, move that down to there, and let's see how it looks from the distance. Okay, that means that my restaurant needs to be opened up a little bit more as well, I think. So do I need to bring that down one more? Yes, I'm going to have to. Everything has to come down one. Ah! Right, that means the plant pot's going to come down one. No, 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 no. Let's go to that decoration. So come down one. Come down one. Come down one. And everything's got to come down one. No, 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 no. But my design looks so good and it looked wonderful just the way it was. And now I'm changing it. That's not good. But then again, tweaking your design is often a good thing to do. Don't always stick with your first design because you never know. You may want to change it. Right, let's see. That means that's going to come down as well. That's got to come down there as well. Machines perfect. Okay, that one's fine. Bring the palm tree down. Go out the way. Bring that back there. That means maybe that's got to come down as well. Okay, let's have a look. Now, if I have to bring the eating area down one as well, or shall I leave it the way it is? Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to leave the eating area the way it is, but I will actually make the dock a little bit deeper. So let's just bring my actual leg that comes off here, extend that down a little bit more and see how that changes the design. So we want to shift that one to there for the moment. Let's bring that one back over to there. Move those down one more. Move that down one more. 
that means that one can go there bring that down one more bring that down one more that one then goes to there let's move that light down to there Ooh, that doesn't look so cramped there yes I like that a lot I think that's a much better better idea now it means that I'm some pieces missing here so I need to go back into this and modify my design but let's have a look at it two over one up two there's good so I need some more water here I think no actually no I'll leave that the way it is I just change that for glass if I go with the glass there Yes, I like that one. And let's bring the glass down to there a little bit more. That looks better. That looks much better. But I wonder. Hang on, let me try something here. Let me try something. So, find that piece there. Let's go down and find the water design effect. So, one more, one more, one more, one more. Let me just test something. There we go. Bring that one to there. Ooh, that looks much better. I actually like that now. I think that looks much better. But I don't like the sand. So, let's change the sand to blend that in a little bit more. So, we take the sand piece, kill off that one there, down to, let's think. Yeah, that looks much better. So, move the tree back one because I did like the position it was in before. Okay, I can dig that now. That looks so much cooler, but it means I need to change the water effect as well. So, let's just get rid of that one. Uh, bring the water effect down one more, and then across like that. Then need the decking decking, 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 wooden decking there, another wooden decking there. How's that look? Hmm. I do believe that looks much more interesting. So now my entrance way is much bigger. It's a nice diagonal into my tiki lounge for eating. Yes. Okay. But I need something else in there. I know what. I'm going to add a table. Now, uh, what are you doing? Go away. Now, I do love this actual table design that we got before, and it was really useful. So that console table, I think, is going to look wonderful. Now, shall I have the flowers on the left or the flowers on the right? I like them on the right. Let's try something here. Place that down there, and kill that one off for the moment. Oh, yes. That looks much better. I do like that. That looks more interesting, and I think the design is much more pleasing to my eyes now. Yes, 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 yes. Now, while I'm here, let's get rid of some of these as well. So I need to lay these down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to come around, I think. No, I want to have it hidden out the way. That looks good. Now I've got my crops there, and speaking of more crops, I need to add down some berry bushes. So my back corner is done now. Berry bushes right up against the tree. One, two, three, four, five. I like the design. Should I continue going deeper, or should I bring it down? Let's bring it down. And I think one more up against the edge, because I love the smell of these bushes. Two, and then one more. Not too far. How's that look? Hmm, I think that looks good now. I am pleased with that design. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I need to put down my animal pens. Now, I'm going to get rid of those now. Get them out the way. If I get them out the way now, it's going to be so much easier. So, I don't want to chop down those rocks and trees. But, I want to put these over here in the corner, out the way. So, let me try this one. Put that there for the moment. And let's try the next one. We want the chicken coop. Now, chicken coop, I think, can go there as well. But let's turn it. No, go to the back like so. And I do believe that's much better. 
Okay, we got a gap there between the two, which is nice. Now I need my pigs as well. So can I squeeze the pigs into this area? Yes, where are you little piggies? Now, should I go with them like that or should I turn it around? I'm going to turn it around. Okay, now all the animals are facing each other. Can I put any more trees or things into this corner? Yes, 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 yes. I think coffee bushes would be nice. So one coffee bush there. And let's try some other coffee bushes. Now I'm limited on the area space that they can go. So let's see if we can squeeze them in and place them around. Okay, hang on. If I do it like that, that gives me more space. Okay, move that one over for the moment. And then I can go three there. Ooh, that looks good. Now I'm starting to like the way that's looking. But I do think I need something different to go here. Now I want to add in some of these cool decoration. But before I do that, I really want to start blocking this off. Now because this is my beach area, it's a private area, I don't want my customers to be upset by what's going on behind them. So I'm going to block it off. Now I could use the wall pieces. We've got this wonderful new wall decoration within the game. However, I think the wall takes up a little bit too much and for a beach design I think that's a little too much for it. So I'm going to do something really interesting to my design. I'm going to use the bamboo. Now let's find that bamboo wall. So again coming down, I've already used that one earlier. And where is the bamboo? There it is. Now I've got 23 in stock. Now will that be enough, I wonder? I don't know. Let's find out. So do that one. Yes, I don't want to go off in that direction. Let's come down. Now I'm going to go all the way down to the end here at the moment and then let's have a look see. Will this be a good idea, I wonder? Mm, close that one off for the moment. Yes, 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 yes. I like that, I like that a lot. In fact, I'm going to do something here. I wonder. Ooh, that looks good. Now, I don't want people walking around there, so let's try water. Glass, I think, because I think it's too deep otherwise. You can't have deep water when we've got shallow water just there. Now, based on this, I think the deep water is too much. I need more sand. Let's take away some of that deep water. Let's go two up there. Mm, yeah, I think two up is good come down there for for the moment. Let's just take that one in, slide that over there. Kill off that one. Let's try some other decoration. So I want a little one just around here. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so sand again. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I liked it. Trees, 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 trees. Now I got coconut trees. I wonder, do they go in there? Let's have a look. Yes, that looks good. Two looks good. Three looks good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder. Coconut trees, coconut trees. Okay. Choices. I think a big palm tree is simple and easy then it's not going to be hidden too much behind there. Let's put another one down there as well. Now shall I do it there or there? Let's have a look. That looks good. Okay, hang on a second. Let me just try something here. So if I put that there, everybody loves a drink. Let's try some chairs. So I wonder one under the palm tree just there another drink next to that as well yeah I think that looks good Hang on, let's try another palm tree for shade as well oh I like this I like this a lot nice little tiki statue there as well but that means that that doesn't look good but now that does choices 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 but I think no. Let's move the palm tree over to the corner. Ooh, that looks much better. I like that. Shelter from nosy people. Now, should I go purple or blue or blue or purple? 
Ooh, yeah, that does look good. Now, I love being creative here. Now, I'm actually kind of cheating. So I've already created this design earlier, by the way, everybody. And it took me many, many hours to set this up. Now, you're actually watching me going through the motions now of creating my restaurant and coming up with my wonderful design. Now, it does take a bit of time and effort. You've got to put a lot of thought into this. It's all about tweaking and adjusting it and moving it around. But I did love my design so much that I thought I've got to show you guys how I put this together. So once I finish this one, I'm going to show you what it looks like as a finished version. So I think you will like it a lot. Now, as you see here, okay, I'm creating a nice little corner there. I've got my chairs, I've got my trees, and I do like the way that's coming out. Again, I want to tweak it a little bit more, make it more interesting, give it a more garden-like feel, and I think I need to add in some bushes as well. Now, don't forget your decoration. You still need to add in all of your strawberry bushes if you've got them. You still need to add in a lot more of your resources. It's really, really important that you don't forget these items because because these items are like essential aspects of the game and without them you can't actually progress very very well right now I'm not keen on that I don't like the fact that they're actually right up close to each other so I'm going to come back on that one one now I like the fact that they're all lined up together but I wonder so good line good line good line I think that's more pleasing so Let's try a big palm tree. What do you think? Just there, uh, killing that gap there. That looks better. Small little baby one, I think, over here as well. That looks good as well. I like that. I like that. I like that. Sure, I've created one between there, but I don't like the water with the berries. I'm going to have to change that one as well. Now, I got another little one over there, so let's bring that little one over, and I'll put that one there. And I need a bigger tree, so let's put that one there as well. Ooh, now that's starting to look good. So we need some sand, I do think. And based on the sand, I'm going to change the design slightly. Hmm, actually, no, I'm not keen on that. Yep, yeah, much better. Sand, 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 where are you, sand? Let's bring that sand down. Okay, I think sand under that one is going to be important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I've got too much sand there now, so I need to bring the carpet down there. So choices, choices, choices. Let's bring the water down to there as well. Bring the sand back on this one. bring that there to the moment that one's got to be sand okay how are we looking so two three down I think is good okay mm, I'm gonna change that water one there to glass where's the glass where's the glass okay there we go let's bring that over Okay, that looks much much better now I'm creating a more beach like feel there which is good now, I did enjoy that tiki just over there, so why not make an entrance here? Bring that tiki to there as well. That looks good. Yay! Another one of those little barriers over to here as well. Change that around. Let's go purple, purple, I think. So, there you go. So, people come in, they don't get disturbed, they can go and they can sit. Down. Yeah, I think that looks wonderful. Place that one there as well. Need a drink? Of course. So let's place that one there. Because it's a romantic couple's corner, let's put two down there together as well. Now that one I'm going to put back into storage for the moment. I've got here a lamp which still needs to be used. And I've got this one as well. Now can I use this? Yeah, why not? What do you think? Yes, 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 I like it. I need to use that, so let's put that one over there. Ooh, much better. I like that. Now we've got a pool here. Now I like these pools because you can float in the ocean on them. So I'm going to put this one in the middle of the water. Now, shall I put it here or a little bit further up? I'm going to put it there. There we go, much better. 
Now, as you can see, it's starting to come along very, very nicely. So I've got my decking. I'm happy with that now. My beach looks good. And everything is running along smoothly, just the way I like things to go. Now, what I need to do now is to start thinking about the actual machine area. Now I also need to add some grass into this as well. So let's do the grass first because that's the easy part. So there's that beautiful grass design. We can place that one down there, going up there so we don't take up all of the grass area. Right, hide the items, make it easier. Now in case you didn't know, the hide the items makes it much, much easier when it comes to decorating like this, especially when you're looking at a lot of ground that you need to cover over and you don't want to miss anything. So, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Yes, 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 yes. Now you'll see here that this is the template I've got. Now at the moment, if I show the items, you can see where the decoration's over the top, so it kind of looks not so good underneath. But it's okay, because what's important is the fact that the grass on the ground now looks much, much better, and that's what's essential. So look at that, flash, 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 flash. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, right, now I want to put some wall in. Now, I saw the wonderful tiki walls in the design earlier, and what I decided to do was to place all of the walls straight down one side. Now, I don't want to completely enclose my restaurant with walls. It's not my kind of thing. So for me to actually just add in one part of the wall design was something I was really comfortable with doing. So we need to find those walls again. Where are they? All the way down here. And we are getting so close. They should be at the very, very end. And there they are, everybody. So the tiki wall, 26 in inventory. Bring that out. So tap on it, tap on it, tap on it. Boing, 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 boing. Scrolling up and keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And how far up should I go? go. Well, I'm going to go up into the dead wall that's just there on the unopened land and then I'm going to change my direction I think so let's come off in this way. There we go. Perfect if I do say so and I like that one but I want to change the path design. So let's give it a go. Now which path piece should I choose I wonder? Well, I like the grass, so what I want to do is to maybe add the grass and the actual stone piece together. So that means scrolling down until I come to the garden stone. Now I do like this garden stone, I think it's a wonderful addition to the game. Now, do I really want to make it all the way up against the side? No, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space between the actual wall and the side. So coming down there for the moment, let's see how that goes. Now, that's a really good little way of looking at it. So let's put the walls back, and yes, I do like that one. So I need to come down a little bit further. So taking it up to that corner piece just there, sliding that down as well. Right now, looking at ah, it looks like I need to go a little bit further with my wall as well. So tap on that wall piece. Bring that round there one more. Uh, slate that up to there as well. Let's just double check. Yes, yes, that's much better. So I didn't quite go far enough there. Now, straight away from looking at the design, I can see that the actual path piece there is going under my berry bush, which is not good good. So I'm going to have to adjust this slightly. Now considering there's a few items I still need to add from the essential section, let's start having a look at some of those as well once I place this missing wall piece down. So again, scrolling to the very, very bottom until I find that last piece of the Tiki Wall. And I love that name. So Tiki Wall is that not awesome. Right, so that's all my wall done. Now, I do need to add some of these essentials, so I've got the machines there which I worry about in a moment, but it's the actual lemon trees that are important. So I'm going to place a lemon tree just there, next one next to it as well, remembering that they take up so much space. Now I do wish sometimes that we could actually put decoration around the trees because it does take up a lot of space. Now I'm limited by what I can do there, so let's place that one there, and I've got one more I think in stock, yes, that's good. Now straight away you can see that my actual trees as well have got that path piece underneath, so I need to modify my design here. So let's put the grass back slightly, and then see how that looks. So we come up to there. Now, taking that away for the moment, let's come down there and see how that looks. 
looks that looks much better so if I take away two pieces there but still keep that single piece outside I think I've got a much better design there so again coming down here should I go one or two let's go two for the moment and see what happens there now at the moment that looks good I like what I've done there but I need to start adding the rest of the essentials in and this means adding the machines now I would like to get my bakery down in this corner there so let's turn that around as well making sure that's not right up against the edge let's put my fridge just behind that as well that's an essential piece of kit but it's not so important now straight away I can see that I need to adjust my path so I will do that in a moment my dairy up against the wall let's see if I've left myself enough space there and perfect now I just need to start adding my machines in so I fancy a little bit of sushi down the side there as well because that's always going to be delicious wonderful 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 next one I always want some breakfast as well if I do the buffet now what I'm looking at here with this design is that my visitors can actually come and help themselves to food so in many ways it's kind of like a buffet style kitchen area so they come off the beach they come over to where the machines are they cook themselves something to eat and then maybe they can sit down and enjoy the food now I think that's going to be a much better way of me thinking about this design now you have to make sure that you blend your machines in really really well because sometimes if you don't then you can't actually gain access to them as well I think pizza is good for the next one let's put that down there so making sure you still got access to the different parts of the machine adding them together now this comes down to trial and error sometimes it looks good sometimes not when I actually set this up earlier and I was creating my design I think I probably tried two or three different combinations until I was finally satisfied with the one that I'm looking at at the moment so last two machines and then that should be perfect for that corner there right now we are almost done but as I said I'm not happy with that path piece just down there so put that stone garden back in there bring that down there as well let's hide that away come on fingers do your work and we are now done everybody so I'm really really comfortable with the way that my design has come out I've got my beautiful beach I've got my buffet area there up against the ticky walls I've got my animal area I've got my trees and bushes I've got my reception area for my visitors as well and it does look good I like my 3d effect of the actual board area uh, and it does look good now I do wish as I said before that we had more blue pieces now at the moment we've got all of this wonderful path piece but if I had some more shades of blue carpet I could probably be more creative maybe if I add some greys in or maybe if I added some more of the like uh, other panels in there as well I might be able to change the design of the sand as well to make it a little bit more uh, realistic in some way so imagine like the cream carpet stuck in there as well I think that would be very very good right now that one's done and I come back to my actual restaurant layout now what I can do is set this one as active this now changes the design and there we go everybody one completed restaurant in all its glory and it looks absolutely stunning now the initial design was copied from my friends uh, I took what they've done over in this area and their water effect with the beach effect now I've modified it slightly to suit my tastes based on my area and capacity as well but I am very very satisfied with the way it looks now is it functional well I will soon find out tomorrow during the event hopefully I can harvest all of my crops without causing too many problems but we will have to wait and see and I'm hopefully not going to be tapping too many of those trees and bushes I just need to remember where all my machines are located now I hope you've enjoyed this video please do start changing your designs being creative using the edit mode and let me know what your food club and your restaurant name is and then I will come on over and review you now remember I do stream every Saturday so from 9 a.m. in the morning till noontime Japan Standard Time while I'm actually working now when I'm actually not working I will do it longer at the end of this video you will see the rest of the time so it will depend on where you are in the world but just check out the information okay that's it from Red Knight this is me closing off from Food Street I will see you next time and see you this weekend for an awesome event activity goodbye all